Welcome to the Road to 56 mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Aceid and I'm playing as Democratic Japan at the moment. So, I left off last time. Loads. Oh, well, yeah. Go down to bomber modernization and then unified fighter development so I can actually start getting a few extra some, some better planes. And then I think I'm going to go into Trans-Pacific Friendship with the US because they're staying out. They've stayed neutral. And we'll see how it goes. The rest of the world has gone a bit, gone a bit off because as I turned off historical AI. So France has gone communist. Germany has gone monarchist. Not sure what the Dutch are up to. Belgians. Not sure what Turkey is up to there, but they went to war with Syria and over most of the country. Um Yeah. Yeah. Manchuko has a uh, or Manchuria. One time, I'm, I can't remember what the which the, what the real name should be here. And has gone to war with the Chinese Soviet Republic and the Republic of China. So let's get into it and see how this goes. Wang Tang has just, has created a new faction, the Asian League, with the M Mongol United Autonomous Government. Was Menguko. So well, let's see how this goes. Makli Collective has a non aggression pact with these two because mutual enemy with the Chinese Soviet Republic. Uh, what was I? Ah, oh, yes, Marines. Signed to the. Probably a cautious person because they're gonna take some. It takes them a while to get those naval invasions going. Now, let's well go with the go with grand assaults. Oh, the Mongol United Autonomous Government. It's like they had a little border clash with the. Mongolian People's Republic up here. Hmm. Oh, so that's what the Dutch are, can, are doing. The Zudasi works. Hmm. Okay, so is in, Indonesia not in the faction there? No longer a puppet. Well, the Spanish Communists take the People's Republic of Spain. And they are at war with... Portugal's declared war on them. They're in civil war with nationalist Spain. I have no idea what's going on over there either. Don't ask. Get some better small arms. Okay, this is unexpected. They're forming a faction with themselves. Well, the Inca Empire and Republic of Peru are still having a civil war with each other. Soviets are and the SSSR are also in a civil war. Hmm. We're not happy with the Soviets because they've claimed South Sakhalin. We've claimed North Sakhalin or 
phones are Right, all that is done, so trans-specific friendship, I think. They might say no, but we're not going to attack them. Like, it, it would be pointless. Oh, what was that? Strength in government, so... It means we're probably not gaining the democracy. So they keep things off their backs. Well, Brazil have, in, have, have added Colombia, Ecuador, and Venezuela to their faction. Mm, quite an interesting set of ideologies. Democracy, liberalism, civilian and uh, military junta, and uh, I could serve. Oh, what's this? Pueblo. So Costa Rica went communist and has declared war on Nicaragua, Honduras, Nicaragua, and has a war goal against Honduras, Guatemala. Not El Salvador though. Which is probably just gonna have as is usual. Just have a load of very small, very crappy divisions and then just sit there doing nothing. Hmm. The United States has joined the Trans-Pacific Treaty. Excellent. Now... Let's try this to... ...what we already do have. Well, Hungary has joined the Allies. Oh wait, they went Democratic, didn't they? Uh, yes, they did. But Italy are still fascists and are the Allies. Make it make sense, please. Well, that's unexpected. UK declared war on Ireland. Which, you know, so I'm not exactly happy with that myself. The question is, what's going to happen now? I'm going to decline. Them. Oh, would you look at that? Ireland actually managed to take Belfast. Let's see how long they... This would be nice. Factory output plus 10%. Yeah, the Yanks will probably take take control of the faction because we're interested than we do. Buying a few new units, I think about back in France.
small arms brush. So now that I've gone for this, was it island investment? I can actually start adding building slots and stuff to these. These places. Here mine is all broken now. Rural islands to start. Doesn't mean I've got two less factories available, but. Let's see. Infantry. Ah, yes. Field hospital. Either that, because it'll buff that. It'll buff their HP. For the twelve, because I have a lot of them. That will buff them. What are you doing. Now, I always have this this problem when when I'm trying to upgrade marines. Do I go with expeditionary units or marine commandos who can exfiltrate from any coastal province? So basically, these guys are more for hit and run. These guys are for actually storming a beach and holding it while the rest of the army gets ashore. To be honest, I'd say this might be more useful to me, just given our situation. I never actually use the Marine Commanders though. I wonder how that worked out. So, Indonesia has war goals against British Malayla. It's interesting. Okay, so Communist China or the Soviet Republic has taken the mag what? the Macli Collective. Meanwhile, the rest of the South American Dina Uruguay. Chile, the Incan Empire, all joined the uh, Pensul. This also the Ribbentrop path. Ooh, this is going to get interesting. The Soviets are still in a civil war. So what are the what are the Germans going to do now? They got to go to war with France. Weird. See. Oh, I do like that. Making fright factors cheaper to produce. You get range focus, so I can then get no civilian. Prototypes. Used to me. Lunge mines. I think I'll pass on that. Yeah, that's not that. Maybe probably. Me. Right, more consumer goods, which. Nope. Research speed. Might as well get this. Hmm. 
aluminium. So I'm gonna put this straight into this. I know it's a little bit ahead of time, but worth doing. Well, Dublin has fallen to Italian troops. This is not how I expected that to go. Just watching with this kind of grim fascination to see just how long it takes Ireland to fall. So, England or Britain just wants to overthrow the government of, that, of Ireland. Why? I don't know. Okay, so Costa del Pueblo is. Is now at war with the rest of the defense so we're sure of support equipment now and short of guns probably. Focus and show it air street. This factory would really wouldn't hurt. Does this give us production output? Oh yes, I like. Ray. Probably start building. Oh, with the huge focus designer. Don't actually need them, but oh, as usual, we're short of aluminium now, so I might just go back and apply. Okay, Doesn't seem to have helped much. Oh, well, that's not expected. You're going to be declaring war on Denmark. Who have just capitulated? Iceland have apparently declared neutrality, even though they're still in this faction. Uh, what? No idea what one. Yep, Ireland has pretty much fallen. Hmm. Logistics company authorized. That's the same party. Wait. Wait, we have two Irelands. All right, we'll join there. So uh, we'll join the US research efforts. All right, now I've started to build things up a bit. I'm wondering where I should focus my efforts. Perhaps I should try bringing democracy to Quantum. Let's see. What I could do down here. Four military factories. Require me to actually get a few extra. So probably be integration fire production. Export. Hmm. Yep, Costa Rica surrendered because they 
a Saxon neighbor who then called in their big brothers to help. <laughs> well. I, I still don't know what the hell that was about. Hmm. Huh. Can't do this because I can't justify a war goal against Anton because I don't have world tension isn't high enough. Any land lease. Yeah, this is starting to look a little dull to be honest. Probably find a way to do spice somehow. Bad shout. Oh, I could also try and topple topple Kwangtong. Also get the Korean thing out of the way. Oh, this is interesting. UK has declared war on Mexico. Trying to pop it for reasons. And we're now at war with the Brits. Alright, so first things first. Convoy rating, convoy rating. And I think it's time we took Hong Kong. Not to get for economy. Finally, have enough to get this. Gosh. Naval in the Who else are we at war with? Australia, Zealand. Oh, it's right. Uh, 
Yep, Curry decided not to, but all right. That's worth trying. Need way more guns and more artillery. Well, looks like we might be going to war with the rest of the with the allies. It should send an army over to I have one army here that I will probably send over to the US to give them a hat. Maybe I should try pushing in through to Canada. Yes, I know that's silly, but this army at home is trying to. I should probably bump up the research for evil invasions because we're going to need them. Okay, USA wants to lend us some guns. I'd be okay with that. And then also some convoys. I need to start designing some proper destroyers. All right, the Atsu class. And some hydrophones and the S class. I think I'm going to leave this here for now. But this did not end out the way I expected it to. Like, the United Kingdom are being quite aggressive. Being bullies. I would say that because they attacked Ireland, but in this case. But they also attacked Mexico to try and pop a dish. Why? No. Well, it's starting to look like the US are managing to push into. And that quite well. We're prepping an, inv an invasion of Hong Kong just to take that. Then I think what we go for Mal the British Malaya, and Asia has a war goal against them. Okay. We're also at war with Australia, Zealand. This is a, this really did not go the way I expected it to. Well, I'll leave it there then. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.